Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be checking out the demo for Blood Nova. This is like a cool sci-fi point-and-click adventure demo that I found on Steam that looks really neat. Apparently you play as a god, so that's cool. So let's go ahead and hop in. The spark that would become the Valayan Empire began in the age of astrologers, those men and women who reached for the heavens and wrapped their fingers in starlight. Big hand. With the navigators to guide them, they trace that light across the galaxy, weaving worlds and crafting dreams. But the dreams those worlds gorged themselves on eventually exacted a price, and the children of the astrologers did not wish to pay, so the navigators pointed beyond, and the children followed, an empire was born. That empire has reigned peacefully for over three centuries, even as distant galaxies connected to the empire lay a string of star channels have been wracked by war. Now the Empress is abdicating the throne, her eldest daughter, Princess Love, will take her place. Dazu, on her way to reluctantly assume the throne, Love has stopped at an interstellar lighthouse called the Looping Veil, which stands watch over a star channel on the edge of the galaxy. Her lighthouse. As she and her royal sentinel, Kel Yakavan, con contemplate their new future, dark forces prepare to realize a future. We could just stay this way forever, you know. Just me, you, and life of cosmic hijinks. You in? Okay, now dialogue isn't advancing on its own. Whew, I was having to read that stuff fast. Okay, so the gods created the universes, then the universes started to be at war with each other, and there's an empire and stuff, and love is going to be the, the new the empress queen. Okay, sorry, that, that was a lot to get through. I was reading it. And it was going very fast, so I had less time to internalize it than I would hope. Alright. That sounds cool. There's a slight problem, love. You're about to take the throne. Forget the throne. Forget it all. Let's just say we don't get on Lady Quelta's yacht tomorrow. Let's say Bliss takes the throne. My sister's way more suited to the whole ruling thing. I get where you're coming from, love. I do. But this kind of thinking won't help you prepare for what you have to do. I don't want the Empire in you... And you know it. I shouldn't have to do anything but decide my own future. It's tradition for the eldest daughter to assume the throne. It's how it has always been done. It's, it's what you were born for. Screw tradition. And when did you ever care about that sort of thing anyway? You've been so weird lately. Yeah, I mean, if you don't want the throne, there's no point to take it. What happened to my fun-loving, live-and-let-live royal sentinel? She grew up on the far side of the Star Channel. Words are bur worlds are burning. People are dying. I really haven't been able to stop thinking about that. I know it's horrible, but it's not anything the Empire can fix, is it? Are you so sure about that? Kel, if there's something you want to say, say it. In fact, as your princess and future empress, I am ordering you to say it. Oh, you're getting into the spirit of ruling. Don't change the subject. Speak. All I'm saying is you need to start thinking about the bigger picture. When your mother abdicates, this galaxy will be yours, yet you're one of the least responsible people in it. Maybe it's time for you to grow up, too. You know, you're the worst best friend ever. No, I'm not. Come on. Let's head back inside. We're definitely not supposed to be out here. Wow, you really have changed. Part 1. Hit a nerve. That's weird. The hatch is sealed shut and the con console's telling me the lighthouse has gone into lockdown. Probably a false alarm. Give me a couple of minutes to override the access panel and we'll find out what's going on. No, I'll solve this. What? Why? It's easy enough to... Because I'm going to prove to you that I can be responsible. Love, come on, stop fooling around, yeah? Don't even think about touching that console. You know what? Fine. Knock yourself out. Before you begin your adventure, here's what you should know. Your map is accessed by hovering over the map icon in the bottom right corner and selecting a location. Your inventory is accessed by hovering over the inventory icon in the bottom left corner. Left click to select an item. Right click to return to a previously selected item to return a previously selected item to back to the inventory. When you hover with the mouse cursor over interactable objects, you will see a red or blue icon. A red icon means new interactions are available. A blue icon means all interactions have been currently exhausted and the last one will repeat. Press escape for options. That's it. You're ready to carry on adventuring. Alright, cool. So, th yeah, that's the red icon we learned about. Here's my map. So we have the catwalk and the arboretum. Um, there's my inventory. We have an air bubble. I wear for spacewalks. Okay, cool. So, access panel. The access panel. I have no idea how to work this thing, and I'd rather not embarrass myself trying. I'll have to find a different solution. It's sealed shut, but not for long, because I'm going to open it. Somehow. 
Okay, there's not much to interact with here. Security console? Security console. It says the lighthouse has gone into an emergency lockdown. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. Uh, we can talk to Kel. Waiting on your brilliant solution, princess. Okay, yeah, I'm getting to it, okay? You just give me a second. So can we go back? We can. So there's the hatch. If I go out... Lighthouse Arboretums tend to mimic local worlds. But the looping veil is so far out that this one is filled with flora from one of the capital's planets, Albaca, my mom's home. Away from metal and the noise, it's just me, the gardens, and a little bit of mom. It's all I have left of her now. Yeah. What what a beautiful little location, having like a forest like this in- or like a little nature area like this in the middle of space would be cool. Kind of dream of that sometimes. Just like being on a space station and you have like trees and nature and everything around you, but outside is just the void. Wow, what's this doing out here? It's gorgeous. I've seen a lot of pretty gems in my life, but there's something different about this. It's like a really small version of the orb atop the lighthouse. Seems foolish to just leave it floating out here. I'll take it. Cool. Uh, mushroom. These mushrooms can grow several meters high. Ideal for bouncing. I did that the last time I was here and ended up in the pond. So worth it. Okay. A bouncy mushroom. Okay, so there was new stuff. Twining plants. These twining plants take all sorts of shapes, making them ideal for games of hide-and-seek. I'd play the game with my mom whenever we visited Albaca. Sleepyhead. Looks like someone's taking a snooze. I think I'll join them once we're back inside. Or they're dead. They look like they could be dead. The pond's full of Anmaihi, a rare particolored fish native to Albaca. Proximity to star channels breeds illegal trade, and there's always black market scandals. Here on the Looping Vale, someone was caught stealing Amaihi from the pond and selling them for a profit. Quaint little pond full of Anmaihi fish. Strictly no fishing. Okay. Just want to make sure there's nothing else out here. Okay, I think we're good. Let's look at the statue. Noble Watcher of Interstellar Travel. Core Haven Sphere. They're intended to bring luck to those journeying across the stars. Some people believe each statue contains a seed to the navigators, and when the stars align or the time is right, they can come to life. It's a cute thought, but obviously nonsense. Why would the navigators want to talk to us? Albaca is renowned for its diverse vegetation. The whole planet is covered in lush jungles with huge tree canopies. This is a really tiny variant of what would ordinarily be the size of, like, the entire Arboretum. I see. That's a big boy plant. Okay, so I think that's everything in the Arboretum. So I got a gem. Or orb, sorry. Can I combine you two? The orb doesn't fit here. Okay. Just wanted to check. So the hatch, let's go to the catwalk. Kel and I are always looking for these little spots. There's nothing quite like being out here. Stars lighting the path through infinity. I love the thrill, but truthfully it's the only place where being a princess doesn't seem to matter. I feel so small, and that's a relief. Kel said she was growing up. I'd like it if I didn't if it didn't mean the end of our little adventures, but it's hard to picture them when I'm destined to sit on that damn throne. Yeah, you're obligated to, so you're expected. There's a lot of uh, media that uses that, like the the person that's supposed to be taking the throne doesn't want it, but they're forced to anyway. Alright, I don't think there's anything down here. I'm kind of pixel hunting a little bit here. But this is pretty cool so far. I'm liking the established lore of the world, and the game oh, the game's art is beautiful. It is so pretty. The moon of Philinir, home to a race of flying cats who refuse to so much as even recognize the Velion Vel Empire. I mean, you're an empire. I kind of I kind of hate the fact that you're an empire, because the empire just means you, like, try to take over people, but... Good on you, Feline Felineer. The flying cat race. About a hundred years ago, my great-great-grandmother couldn't stand it any longer and created a peace agreement with the cats. The cats refused to sign, so she attended the signing ceremony herself and had someone dressed as a cat to sign it on behalf of uh, Felineer. She was insane. <laughs> the, 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 cat, the cat people are like, uh-uh, go away. We don't want anything to do with your stupid empire. When the Felineer home to... Oh, it said it was new. Okay. Uh, Star Channel. The farthest Star Channel from the Empire's heart. They call it Quinzar. It's strange that something so beautiful could lead somewhere so terrible. Beyond that pulse of effervescent light roams an endless succession of cruel warlords, each fighting for control of an anarchic galaxy. Okay. The astrologers created the lighthouses centuries ago when our curiosity overcame our caution. Now the channels are strictly policed. 
As a girl, I was always afraid that our whole galaxy might slip through. Yeah, so there's just a ton of people fighting over land in there. That's basically us. That's Earth in there. Quinzar, deceptively beautiful cosmic phenomenon, pulsing with... Is it looking at me? I feel like it's looking at me. Uh, okay, do I want to do anything out here? What's this? Oh, there's a broken pipe. Okay, I didn't see that. This pipe looks worryingly loose. Oops, I pulled it free. Hope it wasn't attached to anything important. Perhaps it'll help me unlock the hatch, although I am struggling to see how. Hmm, I guess the orb could slot into the pipe's opening. I see. Yep, as is, as is usually the case with adventure game protagonists, we break things, harm people, and we're like, well, I might need this later. So, you fit in there? Behold my, um, magic wands? Glow stick? Whatever. I'll take it back to Kel and see if, it in if inspiration strikes. <laughs> yes, we have a magical girl wand. Look at us. Alright, so let's go back to the hatch. hi yeah. I should show it to Kel to see if inspiration strikes. Okay. Ta-da! Love, I adore you, but it's a pipe with an orb jammed into it. How exactly do you plan to use it on the hatch? Um, we smack the console with it. Problem solved. The problem created. That'll break the console and trap us on the catwalk. I mean, it might not. It might just open it. Okay, go ahead. Break the console. Uh, I'm waiting. I'm not gonna do that? Didn't think so. You already cracked the security console, didn't you? I did. Hatch is open. Let's get back inside. I'd like to know what triggered the lockdown. Okay, but let's tell people we smacked the console with the wand. I'm, I made it to open the door. That would be to admit we were dumb enough to get locked out of the lighthouse. Is that what you'd like the future empress of, you know, the galaxy to be known for? Just go inside. What's up with that worker? Hey lady, are you okay? Wait, the air, it tastes... Uh, it, it can't be. It's in the air. Kel, are you okay? What's in the air? Love, don't remove your bubble. There's neurotoxin in the air. Body's on fire. I can't stand. Shit, that woman's dead. Lucky, another few seconds and I'd be down for good, too. Not sure how much longer that'll last. Please don't let this toxin have leaked through throughout the lighthouse. Don't let me be the only sentinel left. A leak? Is that what triggered the lockdown? If we're lucky, there's a high chance this was an attack. Why would someone want to attack a lighthouse? Oh, love, what do you think? Me. We need to stay here until the rescue ships arrive. In the event of an emergency lockdown, the lighthouse custodian will have a dispatch to distress call. Help should already be on its way. Can you hold out until they arrive? Don't even think about leaving this room, princess. You are not equipped. No way I'm gonna stand here and watch you die. Tell me what I can do, or I'll swear I'll go anyway. Sometimes you make my job really, really difficult. And it'll be impossible if you die. Is there anything in this lighthouse that can help? Okay, all right. I'm pretty sure the toxin circulating is Plythora X. It's a weaponized nerve gas. If I wanna live, I've gotta get it out of my system real soon. There's an antidote for Plythora X in medical, the level below us. How could you know that? And why is there nerve gas in the lighthouse? Do you want answers to your questions or do you want to save me? Antidote for mysterious nerve gas, Plythora Z. X, Plythora X. X, that's what I said. Anything else? Just be careful. Be very, very careful. Back soon. Don't die, please. Dead body, yep. Dead. Which is what Kel's gonna be if I don't get a move on. I found the ladder key, rifling through her pockets. There's a memo here, too. Let's not uh, make taking from the dead a habit. The memo reads, Check to new installation according to specifications. Report it all in good shape. Although, again, I had to stress that until they tell me whatever it is they've installed in engineering is meant to work, I cannot approve of turning the damn thing on. They say it's a new power generator, but if that's the case, why not just let the engineering staff assess the equipment for themselves? There's nothing I can do for her. She's gone. Okay. Diagnostics console... Cartridge reader? It's a cartridge reader. I'm a princess with too much time on, on her hands and an amateur interest in electronics. So I know that with the right cartridge, you can manage system diagnostics from the terminal. Cartridge reader. Not a Kel saver. If I had a cartridge, I might be able to do something. Okay. The diagnostic readings on this console are basically gibberish to me. Maybe the toxin was dispersed through the vents? I can't reach, which is good, because otherwise I'd lose my fingers. But what if the alien's up there? What if the... What if the, uh... Why am I... Xenomorph. Jeez, I was like, why am I forgetting the name of that? Ladder passkey reader. It opens and closes the ladder hatch, blocking the passageway halfway down. It requires a keycard. Okay. 
The worker's memo said whatever the pipe was attached to hadn't been activated yet, but it looks pretty active to me. I can even hear it. it goes down to medical, which is where I need to be going. Uh, maybe my wand isn't as ingenious as I thought, because this won't work. Okay. We do have the ladder pass key, so we can use that over here. I just wanted to investigate everything in this room. Hall to recreation? Recreation deck. In a different universe, that's exactly where I'd have gone. That was really not the time to go wandering off to the recreation deck. I have to save Kel. Okay, yeah, we will. We will. There's an electronically locked hatch below locking passage. I think it's tied to the terminal on the right. Yeah. I just want to examine everything that I can. I accepted the card. Opening the hatch, I can now climb down to the lower deck. Yep. So, down. Unlocked. I better climb down and find that medicine. Passage level 2. Medical. Oh, yeah, we actually gotta do this. Whoopsie. Sorry. <laughs> Security kiosk. Damn, the guard's dead as well. There goes any hope of this all being a bad dream. I really wanted to find someone to save Kel, but it looks like it's up to me. With any luck, the kiosk can show me where to go. Why do I have a feeling this searching bodies thing is definitely on its way to becoming a habit? Security pass. Great. Shall take it, begrudgingly. I was too shy to speak when we met in recreation yesterday. Whenever I show up someplace, it always throws things out of whack. Routines have to change. This time it looks like I got everyone killed. I can't let myself think about that right now. The Looping Veil. The Looping Veil. It was the closest station to Elkin, where I oversaw the opening of a new military academy. My last official act as princess. Kel insisted we stop at this lighthouse before joining the main fleet. I didn't mind. She wanted to see some old friends before I was sworn in as empress. They're probably gone now, but I'm not going to lose Kel. I can't. And that's when people took the opportunity to try and assassinate you. Please don't let me and Kel be the only people left alive in the lighthouse. Alright. Uh, notepad. Cold gas plus Zato giving me the runaround. What are they up to? I'm like he was suspicious of the lighthouse doctors. Okay. What are they up to? Bricks here was paranoid and irate, but the keeper must have had a reason to be suspicious as well. Okay, so we read that now. Cup of cold tea. I usually take it warm. Not thirsty. Alright. Visitor Kel... Or visor calibration device. Diskette drives. These are diskette drivers. Diskettes are typically loaded with a set of specific codes, allowing you to remotely control different parts of the lighthouse. Okay, so we need a disk. Phone? I reckon these phones are linked to the control level. The top of the lighthouse. Can't hurt to try emergency number. No one's picking up. No one's picking up. Alright. Um, poster? Disgraced former security chief Max Lion Star, that's totally a made up name. Star produced a series of self promotional posters and had them distributed throughout the Empire. Then he turned out to be a fraud when he cheated who cheated his way to the top, yet yeah, he still has his devotees. Kel's in danger. This guy isn't because he's a picture. Okay, <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's a lens that can emit a high intensity beam for recalibrating the guard's visors. All lighthouse security personnel wear one. The visors look sort of spooky, honestly. I didn't remember their owners have all sworn allegiance to me. It's not something that fills me with confidence. The lens can emit a powerful high intensity beam. I shouldn't look directly into it. Why not? It's fine. Uh. Wait, what was that? Okay, emergency message. It says there's been a fungal outbreak in the lab. The bubble should keep me safe from airborne particles, but I might need to take extra precautions if I plan to go in there. Been a fungal. Okay, yeah. My guess is the guy's security terminal. Maybe it'll help me find where the medical supplies are kept. Let's see. Keeper Kreb. As requested, I have been monitoring Dr. Lim Colgas. So far, I have nothing concrete to report. He is diligent in his work and liked by everyone. I have noted he is suspicious of my posting here and is likely aware I am shadowing him. But that may not mean he has something to hide. It is possible he is simply disturbed by my presence. Might help, Keeper Kreb, if you were to tell me what I was looking for. Yours, Officer Brix Vinton. Golan Kreb, the Looping Veil's keeper, sent a reply. Vinton, you have been entrusted with a special task to keep tabs on Dr. Colgast. Why that task has been assigned to you is irrelevant. He is a doctor with a particular set of duties, and you are an officer who is to report any deviation from those duties. I have upgraded your security pass to permit access to Colgast's office. I shall request a meeting with him the day after the princess's arrival. Once I provided the time for that meeting, you are to inspect the office for your questionable material. Do your job, do it well, and you'll be rewarded, Keeper Crab. Interesting. Uh, lighthouse Keepers were suspicious of Dr. Colgast, so much so that they dispatched Brix here to keep an eye on him. Crab even updated Brix's security pass to access the doctor's private office. 
Why be suspicious of the doctor, though? Even Bricks didn't know. Okay, so we have that pass now, so we can get into uh, the doctor's office. Bricks' is security terminal, the lighthouse keeper crab was having Bricks even updating. Okay, yeah, sorry. I just want to get rid of all the red notifications to make sure I have everything. It's easy to miss stuff in these games, and I don't want to do that. Okay, well, we have something. Now, we got some new stuff. Surgical area? I've hated places like this ever since I was a kid. When my mother, the Empress, married her handmaiden, there was quite a scandal, but all that was forgotten when the wife of the Empress became ill. Now places like this are nothing but bad memories of me. Bliss and my mother watching mom slowly die. I won't lose, lose Kel as well. Yay, you had two moms. Cute. Medical cabinet. Here it is, the medicine cabinet. I'd say that was pretty easy to find, but it's locked. It looks to be the key slot is tubular and about the size of a file. There's a really weird locking mechanism. That's a really weird locking mechanism. Locked, I need to find the key. Uh, based on the locking mechanism, I'm looking for a file. The device used to separate liquid and gas in a file. There's three different settings, temperature, speed, and time. Centrifuge for, yep. A small glass container with a tightly sealed lid could potentially come in handy. Yeah. Wall panel? Locked. I need to find a security pass to reach the doctor's office. Hmm. Vast and dark, but pocked with light. The lights of an empire. My empire. Does that much power even be possible? If we just stayed on the catwalk outside the lighthouse, if we just kept that hatch closed, would time have stood still for us? Probably not. Uh, ooh, a scalpel. A sharp instrument for surgical incisions. Kel did say to be careful, so I best take it. Yeah, what if I have to stab someone? The lighthouse's medical facilities are mostly for the operating staff, but this close to the star channel, they see a lot of different patients. And a surgical device. So, have I gotten everything else in here? I guess so, huh? I mean, why do I need the scalpel? Well, couldn't I just bonk someone with my wand? Uh... I can't just cut my way through everything. Okay, I thought maybe I could get the sealed lid off with that. Alright. Yikes. Seems that the last patient seen here was suffering from the horrible Gakoya blood disease, which came from beyond the Star Channel. There's a recent outbreak near here, devastating some of the more isolated provinces. Yeah, that's the terrifying thing about potentially finding more life in space. Imagine all the diseases we would get from meeting them. Diseases that don't affect them and they're immune to, but would just absolutely annihilate us because our bodies are not used to it. Okay, so... I've got some things here. I think that's basically all I can do here. Like, there's... Yeah, I think that's it. So, let's go back. There's nothing to... I mean, there's the diskette thing here. Security pass, ladder pass key. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do there. And the medical supplies were back there as well. Let's go up. So can I go... No, we don't want to go back here. Let's go back to the maintenance hallway. Oh god, that noise scared me, jeez. Um, hype. Goes down to medical, which is where I need to be going. Yeah, how do we get there? That oh, gloomy hall. Really dark. I wouldn't go in there even if I had to, and I definitely don't. Diagnostics console... So where can we go? Just the hatch and the security kiosk? Hmm. Did you change did you change your mind? Nope. Of course, because you do you, when you when do you ever change your mind? Jeez. Where do I go now? Cartridge reader. Security pass? I feel like I'm asking for more than the security pass is being able to give. Okay. Ask he. Yeah, see, what am I supposed to do here? I think I'm still supposed to be downstairs. I came up here because I thought maybe, I don't know, something would be happening. Could I scalpel the dead body? Nope. <laughs> that was a dark thought. Uh, security kiosk. <sighs> what am I doing here? Let's see, there's the phone. There's the diskette drives or diskette drives. Diskettes are typically loaded with a set of specific codes, allowing you to remotely control different parts. Emit powerful, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I've got most of my information in here. I'm just not sure what to do next is the problem. There was nothing else to do. Wall panel? Locked. I need to find security. Oh, shit. That, that was what I needed. 
I forgot about that. I did it. I can now enter the doctor's office. Okay, cool. The door to the doctor's office is already unlocked. Okay, so doctor's office. From the moment I saw the dead officer, I knew what I was likely to find in this place. A man I trusted a whole lot was going to be right here. Dr. Cole guessed who could melt away my fears with just a smile. And so he is, only never to smile again, and I'm so afraid, Doctor. Dr. Cole guessed, Lim, it's hard to have friends when you're a princess, but I like to think he was one. Sorry I have to do this, Doctor, but I'm kind of in a bind here. Let's see what you've got. Oh, it's a note. Ashria, we've made arrangements for the next ship to transfer you to a safer place. Be ready, K. I wonder who Ashria is, or was, if they failed to get her on that ship. Let's hope for the former. Rest in peace, old friend. There are different kinds of potions and medicines in the cabinet, but not the antidote I'm looking for. There's a potion for psychic contamination, which sounds totally awful. Another for, wow, unexpected physical malformations owing to ill-advised experimentation with... Yeah, okay, I get it. Ah, right, here's one. For ungluing. That prevents the sticking of dangerous substances. Much simpler. I'll take it, but it's the only one here, so I should use it wisely. I already got a potion. Okay. So wasn't this lid stuck? Sealed lid. Oh, that doesn't need ungluing. Okay, well, I, I, I thought. Torso model. Model torso for doctoring stuff. Other than their heads, they say Druval, Dru, Druvolgians, sorry, have two of a few other things. <laughs> this one's a heart, looks like it's about to fall out. Okay. Okay, that's super weird. He had an oscill oscillator hidden between the heart. Why had a device like this? The oscillator can measure the pulse, pulse of literally anything with a, with a beat, animate or inanimate. I'll take it. Neat. There aren't any more hidden items. If I'm going to concern myself with a body, it's going to be Kells before she ends up like Dr. Colgas there. Okay. Desk. Sat opposite this desk more than once. Colgas was a good man and a fine doctor. It's hard to believe I'll never see him smiling back at me again. Not much to look at without Dr. Colgas on the other side. Well, aren't we finding out potentially Colgas was up to something? Or the people keeping an eye on Colgas were up to something? Snug chair that holds snug memories. Passcode is required. Short of other options, I could try the name from Colgas' note. Estrella, was it? That worked. I'm in. I guess she meant a lot to him. There's a message here sent from Lim to Dr. Zada, the surgeon, just last night. Dr. Zotto, I'm afraid your suspicions may be correct. If so, then we, and perhaps the entire network, are in very grave danger. My main concern is Officer Bricks, as I'm sure you're well aware. He's keen to police that which requires no policing. First his vigilance was irksome, now it's downright alarming. I've been able to acquire a sample of this antidote you requested, but if it's here in the quantities you say it is, then it will do little to help us. In the meantime, the antidote has been scoured in the surgery's uh, secured in the surgery's medical cabinet. I entrust you with a special key, that silly file I acquired from that conceited trickster, Danton. I suppose he thinks the file amusing, the price of his discretion, I'm afraid. It's sensitive to speed, 829 temperature 30, and time, whatever the current astral pulse is, we should, should you have the heart to use it. So 829, 30, and whatever the astral pulse is. If anything goes wrong, forgive me. It is my great regret that I did not act sooner. Well, Doctor, what sort of trouble were you in? In any case, I've unlocked the laboratory. Apparently speed uh, and whatever the astral pulse is unlock the cabinet. Okay, that's oxygen tank. Even if he'd had time to react to the toxin's release, I doubt this oxygen tank would have helped the doctor. Okay, so let's unlock the door. I can go in. All right, laboratory. A fungal specimen has been released. I'm going to need to find some way of protecting myself. Otherwise, I run the risk of getting fungi stuck on me, which can't be good. It might even contaminate the whole lighthouse. Okay, so I have to find a way to protect myself. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Potion for ungluing. Couldn't I use that to... I don't know. Eh? All I need to do is pour it on the bubble. Like drops in the ocean, the bubble has absorbed the potion. It's got a slight golden glow, and now it should help keep me safe from fungi. Okay, wow. I really didn't think that would work. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thanks to the ore uh, projected by my bubble, there should now be uh, no risk of fungi sticking to me and thus contaminating the lighthouse. That's a big yay. The toxin that killed everybody could only have been released in the past couple of hours, meaning this fungi specimen grown was extremely rapid. 
Kinda looks like a giant space gnat threw up. Real glad I'm wearing this bubble. A variety of plant specimens, none of which I recognize, and what might as well be sewage, given they're sealed in a laboratory. I'd best stay away. Um... Fungi? It's sticky, and upon close examination, looks to be breathing. Super, super gross. Ew! It's the mold from Resident Evil. What a specimen... What's a specimen like this doing on a lighthouse? The drawers are all locked. Looking at all this fungi, I'm willing to bet there's a good reason for that. They were exposing the fungus to different light waves. One of the experiments showed a remarkable sensitivity to high in intensity beams. Whoever ordered the test was concerned about its efficacy in certain deployments. What's that supposed to mean? They were running tests on the fungus, exposing it to different light waves. Observation window. It's an observation window to another room. I can see more bodies on the other side. Drawers. Dr. Delarina Zato. We didn't speak much, but she had a special radiance to her. Hogas said he'd charge Dr. Zato with possession of the key, but there's no way to check with all this fungus covering her. Uh, crashed fung- gashed fungal spore. If I want to take this with me, I'm going to need something to keep it in. Otherwise, I risk contaminating the rest of the station. Okay, well that's fine. I can, um, grab it in this. That does it. Now I should be able to safely carry the fungal spore around. I need to be careful with this thing. It can grow very quickly. If I were to hazard a guess, this poor guy fell when the toxin got him, accidentally releasing the specimen. It's a little late to impose containment procedures. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so what are we doing now? There's nothing else really going on in here. I guess I need to get that medicine cabinet open, but I need to find the astral pulse, which I have the oscillator for. We just need to figure out how to do that, I guess. Um... Dice are measuring pulse frequency. Doesn't have a pulse to measure. <laughs> yep, sure doesn't. Ahaha, ah, dead joke. You are dead. Alright, um, oval window. Look at the light, lights of the empire, my empire. Stay in that catwalk. Can I use the oscillator on you? Weird, I'm detecting a pulse coming from outside the station. The reading is very faint from here. Aha. Uh -huh. I think I know what I maybe need to do then. Uh, the security. The hallway. Um, the hatch. The, uh... Uh, the catwalk? Yeah, and you, the star channel? Just what I need to use it on? Let's try this oscillator out. Lots of whirring and beeping. Wow, so Quinzar pulse, pulses 600 times per minute, which means 10 times a second. Talk about a rapid beat. 600. I hope that comes up in a quiz someday. I suppose that's the astral time I figure I needed for the centrifuge. Cool. I, I figured it out. I'm smart. Alright, down... Um, and surgical area, the centrifuge. Yes. So, I have the times. Uh, medical cabinet locked. I need to find the key. Okay. So, how do I actually put the number in you? Held within files. Hmm. Might not know what I'm supposed to do now. Huh. Alright, well, we've been going for a pretty good amount of time. I usually do 30 minutes for these videos, and I don't like to play the entire thing, because then that spoils the main game for me more when it uh, comes out. So, I think we'll go ahead and end this off here. This is pretty cool. I definitely am interested in the world. It seems like it has a lot of neat world building and lore and everything, and... I'm not normally in the sci-fi stuff, but this immediately kind of has me interested, so... That's cool. I do really like me some point and clicks, and the puzzles in this one don't seem like crazy obtuse or anything. So, um, you don't have any moon logic going on here, so it's fun. So, I'll put the link to the game in the description if you want to check it out yourself, and I'll see you next time.